carjackings are on the rise in some of America's biggest cities. Nearly 1,900 were reported in Chicago last year, up 30 percent over the previous year. Now the city's mayor is being criticized for attributing the uptick to remote learning. Kelsey Kernstein live outside of Chicago's uh, City Hall with more on this story. Kelsey, a lot of people have something to say about uh, the mayor's comments. Well, Adrian, a lot of people not happy about the mayor's comments. In fact, I spoke to two criminal justice professors who say that making that correlation is actually inaccurate and way too soon to make that judgment. The Chicago Teachers Union slamming back, making a statement on Twitter saying that her comments are racist and hurtful. A lot of parents went to work during the day thinking their teenagers were logged on for remote learning only to find something else. I'll be frank and say um, in Chicago, there was a uh, correlation that we believe between remote learning and, um, and the rise in carjacking. In a press conference on Monday, Chicago's mayor, Lori Lightfoot, claimed some students were committing carjacking crimes out of pure boredom. The Chicago Teachers Union immediately slamming back on Twitter and with a statement on Facebook calling the claim inflammatory, hurtful, and a scapegoating tactic of black and brown students, saying, quote, it's even more damning coming from a black elected official. Two criminal justice professors I spoke to who spend their life tracking criminal data also say a correlation between a rise in carjackings and remote learning is presumptuous. To, to draw a straight line between the two, I think is it's quite disingenuous, actually, because I, I think even the criminologists at the moment, like myself, who study this, we don't fully understand the nature and extent of this. Lightfoot went on to say in the press conference that more than half of the offenders in Chicago are under the age of 18. But when I asked Dr. Dinsley if that claim is accurate, according to criminal crime data across the nation. The clearance rates for this type of a crime are historically pretty low. And the people that tend to get caught are the juveniles. So it creates a selection bias in the data because it looks like everyone who's doing this is young. But that's simply because we're not catching the people who are old. Dr. Dinsley says that older criminals do it for the money and juveniles often commit carjacking for status and the joyride. So what is the answer to combat the uptick in carjacking? Critics blame the lack of criminal reform and punishment for the uptick. However, others like Mayor Lightfoot say Harsher punishment is not the answer either. No, I'm not one who believes, particularly when it comes to juveniles, that you arrest them and lock them up and throw away the key. That can't be the answer. And Mayor Lightfoot made these comments after the city announced a larger task force to combat carjackings in the city of Chicago. And interestingly enough, this time, this year compared to last year, carjackings are actually down more than 20%. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.